Blimey, we just crossed the ocean, landed on that piece of rock, and across the great desert of <laughs> Southern Africa. And now, we're onto the ominous dunes of Great Timbuktu. But we're still gonna make it to Bulawayo before Ramadan. Carrying nothing but a toothbrush and a packet of sherbet lemons. <laughs> And we thought this place was uninhabited. Well, unfortunately, there seems to be natives. We found what seems to be a torture device. Crikey! We've been here for three days already, and Kerry's already out of water. So, what's gonna have to happen is uh, as soon as I pass out, Kerry's gonna take out her old toothbrush and saw into my leg. She's gonna have to drink my blood for water and nutrients. Isn't that right, Kareth Lynn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there's the indigenous people down there. They seem to be following us. Great, Kerry. <laughs> I think we're being followed. <laughs> By golly, <laughs> we are. There they are, there. <laughs> South Africans in their <laughs> natural habitat <laughs> following the Americans around, eh? Like, uh, <laughs> trying to be David Attenborough. Or... Yeah. <laughs> We're on to the pass of none of it right now. And uh, the tribe seem to have given up on the choice. But uh, Kerry's still trooping through, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't need to drink my blood yet, but it's not out of the cards. Kerry seemed to have caught traces of the great northern skunk, the deadliest animal in Africa. So we're going to be a little careful on the rest of this pass because they sneak up on you. Here you can see a fossilized python and uh, if you go all the way to the end there you can see that its head was torn off by something fierce. Alright, dangerous lands now. We seem to have missed Bull or Whale by quite a bit. Uh, we need to reassess our situation and possibly turn back. It's been about three days and I still can't find the ocean. Do you know where it is, sir? <laughs> Son of a nutcracker. We seem to have uh, gotten ourselves cornered because on that side is the ocean. But on that side, is also the ocean. Perhaps this map will help. Introducing South Africans to s'mores. Yeah. Yeah. We just got done with the uh, 12 day celebration of Princess Kerithlin's birthday. We've only been in Crujere for about five minutes and Kerry's already been accepted into the Pride of Lions. <laughs> After negotiations with the local bird population, Kerry has decided to name the leopard Leopardo DiCaprio. Yes. Kerry's tamed the local clan of zebra and claimed them for her own. They now call her Mother Risa. <laughs> <laughs> Crikey! <laughs> Our roof is made of thatchery! <laughs> Crikey, the local witch doctors made fire. Watch out, folks. She bites. <laughs> <laughs> we had to steal supplies from a neighboring tribe because our tribe was running short. Gotta do what you can to survive. We'll drop my Samsung in the shower. She's just around the corner. Soon she will slumber. Blimey, we're in deep now. There she is. 
She just got out of a cave. Oh, she spotted us! Crikey, folks. I've never quite been so close to one before. There she is. The Kerithlinus carnivori. Now, at only 65 centimeters tall, she's the smallest animal in the rainforest. But watch those claws, though. Let's give her a poke, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Careful now. She's given the signs of aggression. That means we're in her territory and she doesn't like that. Smush my Saskatoon's on a silver platter. It's the Carathlinus. Can't have her eyes sleeping. We seem to have found an abandoned civilization. Now, you never know what's lurking in the ruins, but we're gonna check out this pathway and see where it leads. Jiminy Christmas, we found a watering hole. Supplies are running short. All we have left is a half-empty bottle of Coke, a Pringles can that's mostly eaten, and a bushel of oranges. Luckily in our reserves, we have this fridge full of supplies. Watch out, Carrie! That fly nearly snagged you. <laughs> to make matters worse, we've lost all communication with nearby peoples, and there is absolutely no sign what? of human beings anywhere. Well, frolic in a field of flaming flip-flops. She's taking the bait. See, what happens is you put a phone out on a table, and soon enough, a Kerithlinus carnivori will be sure to show up. Thank <laughs> you.